Okay, good afternoon, uh, everyone. On behalf of uh, VA Gabon Project, we are very happy to take part in this uh, event. We will present to you a brief summary of the work that uh, we have done for the implementation of uh, the interoperability framework of Gabon's health information system with the technical support of uh, EH, EHE Europe. We can go to the next slide. Okay, you need to share your screen now, uh, Beringer. No, we can use uh, this, uh, this screen. Uh, yeah, I haven't got the uh, PowerPoint. Just let me start it up. Uh, come on. You 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 want you want uh, you want to use my uh, presentation? Yes, please. Yeah, because that's up to date. Okay. Super. You see it? Yes. Okay. So, in summary, we'll have a, a brief a brief introduction preceded by a quick presentation of uh, the members of uh, the Gabon project team present at this uh, event. Then we will talk about the strategic plan of uh, the Gabonese uh, health system. Then we will quickly outline uh, the interoperability uh, framework and finally the next steps in the technical support of uh, IHE Europe for the Gabonese government. Okay, in this slide, uh, you can see uh, a part of uh, Igebon project team. Mr. Asumka is uh, the Igebon CIS uh, project coordinator. Mr. Asumka is uh, assisted by two deputy coordinators, Jean Donatien, as you can see in this uh, slide. Jean Donatien Tsokati, uh, the functional assistant coordinator for IGEBON's project. Mr. Zengibadi Gamwanda, technical assistant coordinator of uh, IGEBON's uh, project. And you have uh, Mr. Dorian Boris Muke, is it the central director of uh, system of uh, information systems at the Ministry of Defense? He participates in the project as a main referent in relation to military hospitals in Gabon. And uh, I am Mr. Beran Jensa, IT engineer, head of studies unit of uh, the Gabon CIS project. Okay. Where is Gabon? Gabon is a country uh, located in Central Africa. It has a population of uh, 2 million. 2,031,000 inhabitants. The capital is uh, Libreville. The official uh, language is uh, French and the country health system is based on three sectors, civil and military public sector, poor public sector and private sector. The civil public sector has uh, a pyramid organization at uh, three levels, so three levels. Central level, uh, as you can see in, uh, in, the, in, this, fly, in this slide, uh, central level brings together national institutions, central services, pro programs, uh, university hospital centers, CHU. The intermediate level brings together health regions with regional hospital centers, CHA. And uh, you have the peripheral uh, level brings together health uh, centers, village health uh, huts, and other community health services. Okay, the Ministry of uh, Defense directly manages the military public health sector. It brings together uh, two large modern hospitals, a military health service school, military health centers, an extensive network of uh, infirmaries. The country also have uh, compulsory national health insurance, which uh, now covers nearly 1,500,000 insured persons. 
Okay, what is the he health strategy plan of uh, Gabon? The Gabon uh, Emergence Strategic Plan, PSG, identifies uh, the digital economy as a case sector for the diversification of sources of growth in Gabon. And uh, VL sector as a priority sector for the use of ICT to improve the efficiency of a VL care system. On this basis, the eGabon CIS project launched by the, the Gabonese government in the course of uh, 2016 will make it possible through the strategic master plan for the National Health Information System, SDSSIS, drawn up in the course of uh, 2017 to put in place good health system planning, better management of resources and productivity, better quality of care and prevention of uh, public health problems. In this slide, you can see uh, a sort of uh, roadmap. Uh, we have uh, the main phases that define the Gabonese health uh, system deployment strategy over the period of uh, 27, 17, 20, uh, 22. You have uh, in the first stage, the, the writing and validation of uh, SDSSIS. In second step, establishment of the legal framework. In third uh, phase, definition of national software acquisition strategy. Drafting of specifications for the subsystems. Establishment of an interoperability framework. Establishment of a governance structure, structure for the Gabonese health uh, information systems, CNIS, and uh, a gradual uh, and a gradual a gradual deployment of the national health uh, system. Uh, we can note that uh, in this deployment we we are two phases: a pilot phase, then uh, an extension an extension phase in all over the the country. Okay, e-health interoperability uh, framework of Gabon. As uh, you can see in this slide, uh, interoperability, uh, how we, we know that huh? framework for Gabonese health information system is important, very important to, to clarify the, the interoperability requirements for open interfaces and interfaces needed for exchanging medical data among different, different systems to provide uh, implementers with a clear context, use case and interoperability specification for exchanging information for those use cases. Ensure the sustainability and integrity of uh, SIS, that is to say Gabon HIS, reduce, uh, reduce risks of errors when uh, exchanging clinical uh, information. The methodology, uh, we used for the development of um, the Gabon CISIS uh, include uh, six stages. In one, identification of business cases and uh, this alignment with the national health strategy. In second time, selection of user use cases and prioritization, specification of uh, the health uh, interoperability framework. In the, the four time test uh, strategy and conformity assessment and uh, preparation of bedding documents. And uh, in the last, last uh, step, choice of consortia or, or consortium and solution. There is uh, the methodology we, we have uh, used for the development of uh, our national framework. Okay. Um, the business cases that uh, that have been selected for the Gabonese uh, health information systems, uh, as you can uh, see in the in this slide, 
uh, admission, movement and discharge of the patient from uh, the hospital, prescription of uh, requests for medical biology examination and its follow-up, requests for radiological examinations and follow-up, electronic submission of the treatment sheet, basic health wage, uh, interrogation and integration of uh, the ISG, identity of governor's uh, health, sharing the lab report, remote ultrasound expertise, remote ECG expertise, and sharing the, the exit letter. That is uh, the business cases we have uh, selected in first time for, for our project. In this slide, uh, you can see uh, an example of uh, the high level interoperability requirements of uh, an interoperability fu function of uh, a use case with uh, associated profiles. Okay, you can see in this slide uh, the accompaniment of uh, IHE Europe to, to, to write uh, uh, everyday documents we have, we have used uh, to establish uh, our, our framework, interoperability framework. Okay, example of, uh, okay, we say that. Okay, what is uh, the, the next steps? After the selection of the, the consortium, we will uh, refine of, uh, we do a refine of the inter interoperability framework, development of the interoperability specifications of uh, the other use cases, uh, has management and clinical information sharing the domains. We will main, 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 the maintenance of uh, the existing uh, national framework, framework. CISIS and additional requirements as a security coding system and so on. Uh, in the next steps, uh, we will uh, continue to train the Gabonese uh, EHE. Uh, we'll continue to train the Gabonese experts and provide uh, support. Uh, EHE uh, will also provide and install uh, the gazelle test bed for additional project add-ons during the deployment uh, phases for, for the project. And uh, EHE will uh, also implement the interoperability uh, governance with uh, the team project uh, to manage uh, efficiently uh, uh, our national framework. Okay, thank you very much. We are listening to your possible questions. Thank you. So the floor is open to, to the audience for, for questions. Do not hesitate to provide your question in the chat or or directly. <clears throat> so I have a question for so you do uh, is it uh, do you know other experience in in uh, in Africa on that kind of uh, interoperability framework development? Uh, we don't uh, can you we don't hear you. Uh, you are muting. Yes, uh, Karima, the, the, the question is, uh, is for us. Yes, it's for you, <laughs> Béranger. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, we can say that uh, it's our first experience uh, for, for all the team. It's our first experience in, in, uh, in the questions uh, about uh, interoperability. 
Uh, yes. First experience in Africa, yes. Ah, first experience in Africa. Yes. And uh, we, 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 we think that uh, in all Africa, uh, we haven't uh, any country uh, that um, start uh, this kind of projects uh, with uh, the integration of uh, questions about inter interoperability and so on. We can say that uh, the Gabon is uh, the first, the first country in Africa. Uh, which uh, which uh, start uh, this kind of project. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is uh, what we can we can we can say about it. Thank you. Any questions from the audience? Yeah, this is this is Jurgen. I have a question. Um, we hear uh, from time to time that uh, that there are donor funded projects uh, in some countries in Africa. I've heard, I've briefly heard that there is supposed something to be in Kenya, for example, or in Rwanda. And these are, you know, funded by PATH, for example, <clears throat> and organizations like that. Uh, and, and they're using the open HIE framework, which is widely based on, on IHG profiles. Uh, do, do you have contacts to these groups or to open HAE or to those donor funded projects? Uh, Karima, please, can you trans translate for us? <laughs> oui, uh, donc uh, la question est, il, il existe une initiative qui s'appelle Open HAE uh, et qui et qui donc euh, travaille avec d'autres pays africains et qui, euh, qui a un framework basé sur euh, les profils IHE. La question est de savoir si vous avez euh, connaissance de, de cela. Bah, euh, vous êtes... Non, 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 non euh, on n'a pas connaissance de, de ça. Euh, on n'a pas connaissance de, de ça. Euh, mais ce serait intéressant justement de pouvoir collaborer avec eux de façon à avoir un partage d'expérience justement entre ces différents projets avec le nôtre. Nous sommes totalement ouverts à, à ce genre de, de collaboration. Merci. So, Jürgen, uh, the e-Gabon e team has no, uh, are not aware about uh, this uh, initiative, uh, Open IHG, but uh, of course they are open uh, to to have a coll collaboration and to know more about uh, their experience and uh, to share experiences with them. Uh, thank you. Um, because my question is actually aiming to an issue we of IEG have because Africa is such a large country, uh, large continent with so many <laughs> countries. And, uh, and we hear, uh, that there are some activities somewhere, you know, in this in this real big area, but it's very hard for us to, you know, to, to get access to that. You know, we know that there are donors active, there is this project and some others occasionally, but it's hard to enter that uh, area in a wider scale to, because, but because I guess that uh, every country there has a, a need of, of, of e-health and, and digital health. So that okay, is a question stop, to I have out. to translate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. When you say for us, it means for IHG. For yeah. IHG, yes. To, to get okay. con in contact with those African countries. What, he, what, what is he, his advice to give uh, us okay. Okay. in order to, yeah, mm. you know what it is. Okay. So, um, uh, donc, Jürgen Bonstatter explique that, uh, en commentaire, hein, donc, uh, il existe donc un certain nombre d'initiatives uh, en Afrique, donc, uh, dans, ce, dans ce large continent, comme on vient de parler avec Open uh, HIE. Et il est difficile uh, pour Yacheu, d'ailleurs comme pour vous, <laughs> De, de toutes les connaître. Euh, il aimerait savoir si vous avez des recommandations ou des avis à partager sur le sujet. 
Oui, effectivement, euh, je crois que le, cette tribune nous offre justement l'occasion de, de constater cela, qu'il y a plusieurs initiatives euh, allant dans ce sens. Et en termes de recommandations, ce que nous nous pensons serait peut-être de fédérer euh, justement toutes ces, 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 ces actions, donc de fédérer toutes ces initiatives, euh, tous ces projets autour de des questions d'interopérabilité, de façon à ce qu'au niveau de l'Afrique également, nous puissions avoir une plateforme vraiment dédié euh, et euh, axé, qui réfléchit sur ces, sur ces questions. Donc, c'est la recommandation que nous pouvons faire euh, au niveau du projet. OK. Merci. 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 So, um, the, the answer is, uh, of course, with the, this kind of uh, conferences and the workshop, it, sure, it, it demonstrate that uh, we, uh, by exchanging with other we we are more aware of what happened uh, in africa and uh, and in other countries and the region uh, in the world and uh, the recommendation that he um, Beranger is given is that uh, uh, the idea is to federate all the effort in africa Uh, to have a forum uh, at the Africa level uh, for more exchanging experiences and also uh, the interoperability framework between all the countries in Africa. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Any other question from the audience? So, uh, I think uh, you are working also uh, on the selection of the consortium, and I think you, perhaps you can give also some words about the project Atom. You did uh, a few words about the project Atom. Some, some words about the project Atom? Mm, yes. We, we did. Yes. Uh, okay, I think that uh, we will uh, present uh, tomorrow mm. um, a, a presentation about, uh, about this, this, this subject. Uh, so what, 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 what we can say about uh, this activity is uh, It's simply, it's simply that uh, we, uh, we had uh, many consortiums, six consortiums, uh, which participate uh, to our project attend. And um, the objective of, the objective of uh, this project attend, uh, how, how we, we, we know, is to select uh, finally uh, the, the consortium we will uh, we will um, implement implement the, the system the system uh, or the, the e health system uh, national e health system um, this project on uh, uh, To, to, um, to manage this, this project at home, we, we had uh, the experience of uh, EHE Europe. EHE Europe uh, helped us for the, the realization uh, for, for this uh, project at home. Tomorrow, we, we will have a presentation about this uh, subject and we can uh, We can answer uh, to, to the questions uh, we will address uh, to, to, to us uh, about it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
Any other question? Uh, no other questions? Uh, very good. Eh? In, in Gabon, we speak French. <laughs> it's a... Uh, we, 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 we try, we try. Yes, so someone want to say a few words about uh, what they think about uh, this, this project. Karima, you, are, you, are, you have a question? Uh, no, I am waiting here. Uh, <laughs> question ah, from okay. the audience uh, if uh, is after the uh, some of people are from uh, US I see in the list it's early in the morning So the, the first deployment in uh, about uh, the the project uh, uh, the, is it uh, uh, are you starting by uh, the SIH for hospital or what is your the plan because you say we start by pilots. Okay, I will speak in French and Karima uh, will translate. Donc, Karima, tu demandais... Euh... Par quoi vous allez commencer <rire> D'accord. Donc, comme j'essaie de l'expliquer euh, dans le slide actuellement, mm. voilà, donc la slide numéro 9, donc euh, j'expliquais qu'il y a deux phases. De façon générale, nous avons deux phases en termes de déploiement. Donc, on a une première phase pilote qui va se concentrer euh, au niveau de la capitale, donc Libreville. Et une seconde phase euh, qui va démarrer, en, on va dire... Euh, début 2022, courant 2023, voilà pour le reste du pays. Donc, euh, la stratégie, c'est celle-là, c'est de démarrer euh, par 20 structures. Donc, on a 20 structures au niveau de, de Libreville, la capitale. Parmi ces 20, on va commencer par une, un, 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 un centre euh, hospitalier universitaire. Voilà, donc parmi les 20 structures au niveau de Libreville, on va commencer par une structure de référence. Et juste après, on va étendre sur les, les 20 autres avant d'entamer la, la, la phase d'extension à, à l'intérieur du pays. Voilà. OK. So, about the deployment. So, there are two, two phases. The first phase, until 2022, I would say, is uh, the deployment of uh, uh, of the SI, uh, of the SIS at the uh, Libreville uh, uh, level, so at the capital. Uh, in Libreville, there are 20 uh, health uh, centers, including uh, University Hospital, and the first pilot will be uh, one of the University uh, Hospital in Libre, uh, Libreville. Then this is the, the first phase. So first phase, Libreville, the capital. And then the second phase, end of 2022, uh, beginning of 2023, is the deployment to the, to the rest of the country, uh, to the rest of the country. So uh, health center and uh, other hospital uh, uh, at the regional department uh, level. So as you know, uh, Gabon is a small country, is my comment, of 2 million uh, inhabitants. So I suppose that uh, many the people are in the big cities. Uh, so it's why you, uh, Gabon is uh, starting by uh, Libreville. Is that correct?
Non, tu parles des Donc, euh, Karima, tu voulais qu'on entre un peu plus en détail dans, sur le plan technique par rapport aux sous-systèmes euh, qui sont déployés Pourquoi pas Ou ça va Non, non, euh, on a le temps, on peut discuter sur les sous-systèmes. So, OK. The idea is to discuss uh, and to have more information about uh, uh, subsystems uh, of this uh, uh, okay. deployment. Okay, I will speak in French and uh, Karima will translate in English. Okay, donc concernant les sous-systèmes, uh, on a donc concernant le volet uh, hospitalier, donc, on parle des systèmes d'information hospitalier. Donc à l'intérieur, on peut, on, peut, on, on peut faire un découpage en, en deux blocs au minimum. Donc on a un, un sous-système qui traite essentiellement, qui va traiter essentiellement les aspects cliniques, donc système d'information clinique, et une autre partie support, donc euh, tout ce qui est gestion euh, personnelle, tout ce qui est gestion administrative et financière. Donc tout ceci sera implémenté également dans le cadre euh, de ce projet. Euh, Au-delà de ça, nous avons aussi, étant donné qu'il s'agit d'un système... Euh, national, voilà, déployé à l'échelle nationale, donc un système intégré. Euh, on va également déployer au niveau de la couche middleware euh, un certain nombre d'outils euh, qui vont nous permettre justement de pouvoir gérer le dossier euh, patient euh, centralisé, hein, donc d'avoir des outils qui nous permettent de, de gérer tout ce qui est données de référence, référentiel de données, référentiel des structures. Donc, vraiment, euh, tout un module, tout un bloc qui va gérer toutes ces données euh, de, de référence. Comme nous le savons, cela va nous éviter euh, tout ce qui est du blanc, tout ce qui est, euh, tout ce qui est euh, incohérence voilà, dans, le, dans, dans le traitement de, 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 de la donnée, de façon générale. Euh, donc, au-delà de ça, euh, nous aurons également pour tout ce qui est interopérabilité, interéchange, tout ce qui est bus. Euh, tout, ce qui est service, euh, tout ce qui est service web. Donc, ça, est, ce sera euh, implémenté euh, essentiellement pour tout ce qui est échange de données. Euh, parce qu'on va devoir, le système devra communiquer euh, avec plusieurs autres systèmes. Il va falloir que le système soit suffisamment ouvert de façon à pouvoir euh, assurer l'échange de données entre, euh, entre les différents systèmes. Euh, donc, en gros, c'est ça. Maintenant, la couche base de données, comme on le sait, tout système d'information, euh, voilà, il faut que les données soient stockées quelque part. Donc, il y a également toute une, une infrastructure qui a été pensée, qui a été réfléchie euh, justement pour gérer ces aspects. Donc, euh, sans oublier aussi également au niveau de la centralisation, tout ce qui est centralisation de données, parce qu'il y a également euh, tout un système qui va être en place pour tout ce qui est veille décisionnelle, prise de, aide, aide à la décision. Euh, et là, les principaux acteurs qui sont concernés, c'est le ministère de la Santé, c'est vraiment les grandes institutions euh, nationales implémentées au niveau de, du pays qui ont besoin d'avoir justement une vue sur euh, vraiment euh, la, on va dire la cartographie euh, sanitaire hein, du pays. Voilà. Donc, voilà un peu comment sera déposé ce système. Donc, on a un système, donc on a le niveau central. Donc, toute l'agrégation des données. Donc, euh, système d'information pour tout ce qui est pilotage au niveau des décideurs et puis au niveau opérationnel, comme j'ai dit tout à l'heure, système d'information clinique et des systèmes de euh, support. Au niveau middleware, on aura tout ce qui est interopérabilité, échange, euh, comme je l'ai spécifié tout à l'heure, hein, à travers un certain nombre de, de mécanismes, de, de technologies. Et puis, en dessous, toute l'infrastructure qui va héberger euh, euh, les données voilà, les données générées au niveau des différents structures. Merci. OK, I will try to, to translate. So, uh, the SIS is structured, by, uh, is a, is structured in, in this way. So, uh, just uh, we will focus on the hospital. So, you have the SIH in hospital with the two level, the clinical um, information system and the support. So meaning uh, management of the hospital resources and other uh, uh, support uh, sub systems. And you have the country. In terms of the country, the SIS is a centralized uh, system uh, to avoid inconsistency uh, on data and also uh, to have uh, in one place, for example, the directory, 
the healthcare professional director with terminology and other uh, centralized systems that can uh, be uh, that can serve all the, the system of the SIS. Uh, so you have different levels. At the top level, you have all the decision system for decision uh, makers. Uh, you have then uh, hospital and uh, other uh, uh, system for, uh, for small uh, centers. You have the infrastructure with the middleware uh, and uh, for exchanging, for open exchange between all the organizations uh, for healthcare for care processes uh, and uh, you have of course uh, the, the technical infrastructure communication uh, storage of data and uh, other um, information system needed uh, to to maintain this uh, consistency among all these uh, systems so few words is a centralized system at the national level that serves different institutions um, like uh, the ministry of health but also insurance and other the the care uh, all the care providers and uh, and the support this is uh, the main uh, architecture of the sis Okay. Any question? So if we have no more question about uh, the Igabon uh, uh, system. He, he has a SIS system and uh, he has interoperability framework. Uh, I think we can uh, close this uh, session. last question no okay so thank you very much uh, Béranger, uh, for okay. the, for this presentation i think it was uh, very interesting to uh, to better understand uh, the future system in, uh, in gabon uh, and uh, uh, and uh, we are waiting for tomorrow for the session on the project Atom where you will explain how it was implemented uh, this year and uh, to see and to learn more about uh, Gabon uh, SIS. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. And the speakers, uh, please accept my Merci. apology. Merci. Au revoir. Or uh, starting the session uh, late. Ah. Yes, Karima. Yeah. Okay. Please. I'm so sorry. I thought it was uh, half an hour uh, later. Okay. And uh, yeah, but uh, I see you've uh, got a lot of uh, um, interesting people that came and uh, watched your session. So um, yeah, that's the positive side of it. Okay. And tomorrow, tomorrow we'll get a, a, a more of a detailed report from everyone. OK. So, ce qui s'est passé, c'est qu'il a ouvert la session un peu tardivement. Il pensait que c'était à 14h30. Donc, il s'en excuse auprès de vous. Euh, il indique qu'il y avait pas mal de personnes euh, provenant d'un peu partout, hein, il faut, faut reconnaître, hein, euh, euh, dans le monde, euh, qui étaient très intéressées par, euh, par cette session. Et donc, on vous remercie euh, beaucoup pour cette présentation. Okay, that's all. Very well, Very well done. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Good luck with your project. Et bonne chance pour le projet. Merci. On l'a. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Karima. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Merci. Et... Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. À demain. À demain. <laughs> okay.